The Seljuk Turks. The Seljuks invaded the Middle East from 1037 onward, ending Arabian domination of the Islamic world and opening a new way for the Ottomans. The Turks were originally a family of tribes living in Turkestan, Central Asia. They split up during the 500s and spread to Russia, China, India, and Persia. Some Turks abandoned the nomad life to become administrators and mercenary warriors. They served the Abbasids, Fatimids, and others, and sometimes rose to high office. Turks such as the Seljuks, Ottomans, Mamluks, Bulgars, and Khazars soon began to have great influence. They also joined forces with the Mongols. The Turkish cities of Samarkand and Bukhara grew wealthy and cultured in Islamic times. Seljuk Expansion To the east of the Caspian Sea lived a Turkic group called the Kuz or Turkomans. The Seljuks broke away from the Guz in 950, moving south and west. The opposite caliph in Baghdad was having difficulties, and he asked the Seljuks for their help. Led by Togrul Bek, the Seljuks invaded Persia and occupied Baghdad by 1055. The Abbasid Caliph appointed Togrul as sultan under him. In effect, he gave the opposite empire to the Seljuks. In this way, the Seljuks rose from being a simple nomadic ru tribe to rulers of the Islamic world. Alparslan, Togrul's nephew, became sultan in 1063. He took Syria and Armenia and raided Anatolia. In 1071, the Byzantine emperor fought back. Alparslan hired Norman and Turkish mercenaries and marched into Armenia. The armies met at Manzikert, and the Seljuks won because they pretended to be defeated and ran away. When the Byzantines pursued them, they turned around and badly defeated the Byzantine army. The Seljuks captured the Byzantine emperor and held him for ransom. This victory laid the foundations of what later became the Ottoman Empire. Alparslan was a compassionate leader and ruled the empire well. With his blessing, many Turkomans and Seljuks moved into Anatolia. Malik Shah The Seljuk emperor reached its greatest power under the rule of Alparslan's son, Malik Shah. He was a patron of the sciences and the arts and built fine mosques in his capital, Asafshan. His minister, Nizam al muk was respected as a statesman. During this time, the Seljuks took over Anatolia, which is currently Turkey, and confounded the Sultanate of Rum, right next to Constantinople. On Malik Shah's death, the Seljuk Empire broke up into small states, and a variety of Seljuk, Mamluk, and Kurdish Sultanates continued through the 1300s, all under the eye of the Abbasid Caliph in Baghdad. Then, in 1220, the Mongols overran the area, finally occupying Baghdad in 1258.